welcome to an M Squared app review. Today's review will be on these eBlue wireless Bluetooth speakers. You can buy them at richardsolo.com. A link will be in the description. So to start the review, I'm going to show you what comes with it. Right here, you can see that it comes with a nice mesh case for traveling, along with this cord. This cord is a mini USB to USB that will charge the speakers through your laptop or whatever else charges with USB. It also comes with some instructions. These ver these help a lot. I use them to connect Bluetooth to, like for my computer, to the speakers. Sorry about that word jumble. Anyhow, anyhow, so I'm just going to show you the controls. Here is, to turn it off, you just press that button. Here is the power on button. If you hold it after turning it on, you can pair it with a Bluetooth device, as I will in a second. This is to turn the volume down, and this is to raise the volume. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to have your speakers off like I have right now and then you're going to hold the down button I mean you're going to hold the on button until that blue light shows up and that sound occurs then what you want to do is you want to turn Bluetooth on to your computer and when that starts blinking red and blue you want to set up the Bluetooth device and keep in mind that this is on a MacBook okay so you will probably see that it says BT speaker searching for devices one device found, type, loudspeaker, press continue, and then I'm just going to pair it, and it's going to say it's going to pair. Connection established. And now that that has been done, you should stop blinking in about a second. And then what you want to do is you want to go to your Bluetooth menu, and then you will see BT speaker. Use this audio device or use a stereo device. They both actually say use this audio device, but it's mono or stereo. I like using stereo, so I'm going to try that out. You should make that beep, and we'll go on. Here's a song. Um, the quality of these speakers is really good. I have my computer speaker volume about halfway up, and this is um, on the second to loudest notch of volume so you can hear what it sounds like. It may not sound as loud of course since it's through camera but anyhow that was um that was just to show everybody what the speakers can are capable of. Well what I have to say about these speakers is that they're very good. The quality of the sound is actually very good as well. Any Bluetooth device can hook up to this. I will make a video showing my phone hooking up to it. I have an iPhone 3GS, as you might have seen in the other videos. And these speakers are just generally very good. And since they're very portable, you can bring these anywhere. But I do not bring, recommend bringing these anywhere that they might get stolen. Because, you know, once you pay for these speakers, you do not want to lose them. So, I would recommend getting them. And the sound is great. They're very good, and um, and if you want a better stereo sound, not only do you just have them together, but there's an elastic on the back right here, and what you can do is that you can have spread out like that, and they will be like that. If you want them back, it's just like a almost like a window shade. You just kind of pull slightly, and they go back together. They even kind of look like they go together right here. They go like this together, and that's how you put them in the mesh case. Which is a very good thing. You might have seen me messing up doing that in my other um, unboxing video. But, yeah, that's about it for these Bluetooth speakers. They're very good. I would recommend getting them, as I said before. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And go to richardsolo.com if you want to purchase these and many other great iPhone products. And any other various products. So, yeah, links will be in the description to original channels, friends channels, um, Twitter, Facebook, everything like that. So, that's it. Thank you for watching the first real review, and goodbye.